Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food. Morning everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. So I have got really into my 6am morning routine, um, mainly because that is just the time I wake up for work really and I like to have a lot of time in the morning to do the things for me and around the house that I want to get done. So waking up at 6am has become a staple in my life to the point where pretty much wake up that time even on the weekend uh, and it's mainly just to get things done around the house and to get myself feeling good and fresh for the day there isn't a lot of sort of self-care and yoga and journaling within that it's all just about making sure everyday life is set up properly and I think that's why a lot of people start their day at 6am not to do all these self-care things that we're sort of shown extremely often but just to generally get on with life and that's what I wanted to demonstrate in this video morning guys uh, I need to do strawberries strawberry strawberries food because she's been pacing up and down the kitchen asking me to okay let's do this baby girl let's do this um yeah she's been pacing up and down the kitchen asking me to for the last um oh hello she's got this new thing where she like reaches up next to me like she's like a dog um so at the moment she's having the royal cat Canon? Is that canine or canon? I don't know how you say it. Um, the lightweight hair. She loves, loves, loves. I don't know why you care about cat talk, cat talk, cat content. She loves the um, dry food of this, but not so keen on the wet. But um, I have been leaving her out, like grazing dry food um, all the time, basically. And the internet's obviously stopped doing that, so she'll, let, she'll eat her wet food. Um, so I'm gonna try and like wean her off having dry food out all the time so she'll have like her she but she needs to like realize it's on herself so I'm letting her like finish what she's got in her bowl and giving her like little by little every day till it's like less and less um, so hopefully she'll start to eat her wet food because apparently it's got all the moisture they need in it she does drink a lot but probably she's so dehydrated from only eating dry food um, that's not what this video is about. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my realistic, realistic 6 a.m. morning routine. So I go into the office most days every week. So I wake up at 6 a.m. or, sorry, 6 a.m. or like thereabouts after every day. And like not to like work out or like journal or do anything like holistic. Is that the right word? Anyway, no, not to do anything like that, but to, um, basically to just, like, sort my shit out before the, like, before the work day, um, which I think is, like, realistic of most people's morning routines. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like most people's morning routines don't involve, like, just self-care, like, although I do truly believe that, like, sorry, I'm giving her some, like, these, like, hairball treats on top of it as well um that like morning a morning like making sure your home is nice for when you get back to it is who's coming baby um is also a form of self-care like i think the way like how nicely we keep our house and the fact that there's always like dishes clean in the morning they get put away like any washing that was out from the night before like everything gets done in the mornings is a form of self-care as well like i like coming home to like a sorted home if that makes sense so and my morning really revolves around like home organization making sure i'm presentable and clean and like put together for the day so yeah the first point was well, actually not the first point i've got drink quite a lot already but big point of call feeding this cheeky little cutie This part of my morning routine, I'm sure, is in 
everyone's morning routine um i had an everything shower on sunday night it's tuesday now so my hair still feels like relatively clean so i'm not gonna do too much to it i'm also doing an instagram live um after work today so i think i'm gonna i work for a brand that make hair tools i think i'm gonna do all my like like i'm gonna do my curling and make my hair look gorgeous at like after work today so that i look great for instagram i think i'm gonna take my tripod in as well today um so that's so we're not doing hair today but most mornings i do do something with my hair unless it was done like uh, the day before which to be fair this could probably stay another day um but i do like to do like a little makeup um i have quite like a simple makeup routine i'm like a little bit of like elemis superfood some um either the tinted like, moisturizer from l'oreal or i have like the little uh, no audi one which is insane which is a dupe for laura mercier but i think for my birthday i'm gonna buy like treat myself to the laura mercier one um i need to pop to space in k anyway because i want to get um the drunk elephant uh anti-pollution bronzing drops too so i'm probably gonna treat myself to the laura mercier real version of like the dirt tinted moisturizer and then i just do a little bit of powder and um merit beauty bronzer rare beauty blush mascara and that's it oh and sometimes if i'm feeling fancy i'll do a bit of shard tilby concealer but yeah that is the the makeup routine for the morning really i also like to well obviously i just wanted to show you that message my dad um has said that you might be able to get tickets for the Wonka premiere and if you know me I am like I adore Timothy, Timothy Chalamet Timothy Chalamet I think he's like the cutest thing ever so that would be very exciting if we can go the Barbie premiere was like probably the highlight of my year so I think Wonka could could be up there um and so what I like to do while I'm doing everything is just find um a nice little youtube video to watch i think i'm gonna watch um lolita olympia's settling into paris life weekly vlog Okay guys, so it is 7.20, probably going to leave in a bit. Straubs did, sorry I freaked her out when I threw the, I don't need to do a litter tray actually, see if there's anything in there. I've got a little point shash. She's so gorgeous, she's so gorgeous, so perfect. Um, if you're new here, Strawberry, we adopted Strawberry because she was about to be put down at the vets um, because her family didn't want her anymore and she's the best thing to ever happen to us I love her so much one thing Pete always does is get us out our little lunches so this is mine got a gluten-free cookie your sister made some pasta oh it's gnocchi we had not last night but the night before I have one of these for breakfast they're just the protein um, like yogurts um, these have been just keeping really full and I think they're really yummy they're just from our no little an apple I might take a banana as well and then he's got like a similar setup. Yeah, that is kind of be ready for the day. I'm just gonna, um, I left a few pans here last night. Um, me and Pete, I don't know what I want to do. We are in the process of buying our first home at the moment. So we you know, put her off and our mortgage has been approved. We're in like just sort of waiting game stage, I guess. And I was saying last night, I'm so darn excited to have a dishwasher i have lived in like rented flats for the past five no four years um well no longer than that in like a full term but four years on the trot before i i went home for covid so four years i've been out um in rented flats in a row God, that was a long-winded way to say that. I haven't had a dishwasher for four years. And I'm so excited. Like, will I even know how to use a dishwasher anymore? I don't know. I'm so excited to have one. I mean, there's lots of things about owning my own home that I'm excited about. But honestly, a dishwasher is very, 
very high up there, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I'm now just going to pack my bag and head off to work. So I'll probably little outro on the iPhone, I'd imagine. But um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I hope it was interesting spending the morning with me, um, or at least like made you realise that not everyone's morning is full of gyms and journaling and meditation. Some of my mornings are like that, but very rarely will that be a weekday morning. Weekday morning's about organisation, being cute, um, and making sure I'm set up as best for like the work day, I'd say. More than anything, I would say in terms of like my self-care, that is definitely from and through my evening routine. I am like a secret grandma. I'm in bed by like 9.30, ready to go to sleep at like quarter past 10. Like I'm a sleepy baby, um, but my like, Evenings are all about like a good, a good meal, cozy candles, like making the home really cozy and then just like chilling basically. So that's like my evening routine. I'm going to do an evening routine video actually because I think that'll be fun. Um, so that will probably be my next one coming. I'm going to probably have a read my film tomorrow's evening routine but honestly my week does not very similar. I'm a real like creature of routine like I love routine like when I was in my 20s spontaneity was everything and since I've hit my 30s I'm like nah routine is where it's at <laughs> I am like happy and refreshed and I mean not that I was in my 20s I was very happy in my 20s but like in a more chaotic way whereas now it's very relaxed anyway to work we go there's a cat laying by the radiator using her scratch